Welcome back to the classroom. My name is Mr. Lawrence, and we're going to explain an exam question. This is going to relate to module 8, inquiry question 3, which is about the um, quantum properties of the atomic structure. So we'll get into that today. It's from the 2018 independent physics paper, question 36, question D, worth 6 marks. Question A, it says we need to clarify how De Broglie's proposal concerning the properties of atomic particles relates to the photoelectric effect experiments. Okay, so the concept that we're trying to talk about here is De Broglie's proposal. De Broglie's proposal was the concept of matter waves, that wave or particles would have wavelengths. Okay, and he needs to relate that to the photoelectric effect which brought us this equation. E equals HF, which is essentially telling us how uh, waves would have quantized energies. Okay, so let's start with that. Let's try and explain what the photoelectric effect tells us and then how does that relate to the photoelectric effect demonstrates that waves had quantized energies described by the formula E equals HF. Using this, de Broglie proposed that matter could also behave like a wave, given the photoelectric effect demonstrates particle wave behavior. De Broglie's uh, equ equated e equals HF to equals MC together to derive the formula, and so that's how we mathematically demonstrate all matter had a wave of particle duality. Okay, so that's what we have there. Um, explains to us exactly why De Broglie's proposal worked using the photoelectric effect experiment and what it tells us about the atomic particles. We'll move to question B. And question B says, recount the first evidence says recount which is basically to recall again this one is a described type of question the first evidence supporting de Broglie's proposal okay we want to support de Broglie's proposal and the conclusion eventually accepted by scientists so the conclusion we want to see um, so the people that helped prove de Broglie's proposal was the, the, the Two scientists named Davison and Grimer, or Germer, whichever the name is, excuse my pronunciation, and they did a diffraction experiment on electrons, okay? And what they found was with the electrons, they could find diffraction patterns that were exactly the same as um, light waves. Now, there was a little trick in the experiment where there was a little bit of a breakdown, if you recall, in the nickel um, material that they were using. So the vacuum tube had a little crack and caused um, oxidization of the nickel inside. So the crystal structure became like little barrier areas that kind of deflected electrons into multiple directions. So let's write that down. Davidson and Gemma performed an experiment to observe the diffraction of electrons through a vacuum tube with a nickel crystal inside. When the electrons interacted with the nickel, the electrons demonstrated a diffraction pattern. Now given that the electrons could create diffraction, it demonstrates that the electrons had a wavelength satisfying de Broglie's proposal of the wave-particle duality of matter and connecting that into waves. Okay, so that's Basically, the main deal here from the experiment done by Davidson and Grimer, um, Germer, we got the diffraction pattern that we would have expected if it was a wave like um, scenario. And given the fact that the electrons could produce a diffraction pattern, that means that they must also have a wavelength. Remember, wavelength, the wavelength of type of light, the different types of light will give you the different types of diffraction patterns that we see. Because wavelengths will, if you think there's a little crystal and you have a wave, when it diffracts it kind of bends around that um, 
wave like so. Okay, given that, given that electrons could produce uh, diffraction patterns like that, um, then therefore electrons also behave like waves. And that gives us the idea of the wave particle duality. If you found videos like these useful in explaining exam questions, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll continue on.